right, my name is Dee. Thank you for watching. I was listening to the lab and I noticed a voice in one of Josh's videos. So I listened to it some more. And then I went over to Voices Behind the Wall and listened to Don Wells' sister when she called Cher. And guess what? That's who called Josh. The same person. The same lady. Sonia Wells for Sessions. Donald Wells put Sonia Wells up to calling Josh at the lab. Please listen to these voices and see what you think and leave a comment down below. Um, Can I add some? Oh, absolutely, something to that? <laughs> I just wanted to say that it is ridiculous what the family, all the family feuding and how it has turned this whole investigation away from Summer. And it's, it's such crap that, you know, it's a shame because nobody... Because I really do feel like she's been abducted. Nobody's even looking at those possibilities. And I feel like whoever did this is like, there. you know, I've heard that there's 15 more kids since summer went missing. It's like a free-for-all. Nobody's looking for them. They're all looking at Donnie and Candace. And yeah. as far as the family shooting, that'll probably not be resolved. That's been going on from day one. That's, you know, there's always been a big split there. Mm. I just wish that would just be kept privately. It has nothing to do with Summer. Did anything to him? Could I? Could I um, ask? Are you Don's older sister, younger, I'm, close I'm in age? Two, two years younger. And is it all right? And you don't have to answer this, but could I ask? Uh, did he ever be inappropriate with you? Of course not. No, not in any way. Honestly. So yeah, I'm not seeing the no. pattern. No, at there, all. Is, there is no pattern here. I think he made no. mistakes when he was younger. He was a mm -hmm. kid, <clears throat> but, but yeah. it's not like there's a pattern of anything here. I know he would never touch his daughter. I know that. Yeah, because yeah, God really knows they love to twist everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. I can't believe it. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's strange how this lady thinks that trouble in that Wells family is more important than a missing five-year-old child. Is that what you're saying, Sonia? That Don's troubles with the Wells family is more important than Summer? It sounds like that's what you're saying. That's what I understood. Where is Summer, Sonia? Do you know? Here's the same lady calling Josh on his talk show at the lab. That's, that's not actually true. So does that change anything for you? No. If I say they actually are cooperating and they are for a while yes, to talk with you? talking with Don a little while ago and he mentioned you and that's why I looked up your channel mm -hmm. and now I'm seeing you on the delay I suppose um, I'm seeing your face and I guess it's uh, a delay well I'm, I'm guessing that Don had tons of nice things to say about me no he, he actually didn't didn't say very much uh, about your channel he he just mentioned you and I said I've never seen it and yeah yeah, he, he didn't he didn't say a lot. He's been working all day. He's tired. And, um, yeah, he, he didn't uh, say much. It was just enough for me to to want to check it out and see what's going on. Um, so are you, are you friends with Don? Is that what it is? Um, I am, uh -huh. yeah. Technically, no, she's not Don's friend. She's Don's sister. She's Don's biological sister. She's Sonia Lee Wells Ford Sessions. Don and Candace. How, how long you known him? Mm, two years. So, so was it right after Summer went missing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And so, go ahead. For some reason, I feel like 
I mean, because I was waiting for a while yes, to talk with you, mm-hmm. and and the folks that I heard talking, when I'm seeing in the chat, and really it sounded like cackling. It was so hard for me to not hang up because I just can't stand the cackling. Um, it it sounded like folks are like not not liking the wells, well, some- and I I wanted. I want to know what what it what do you think about that? Where are you coming from? Uh, well, it, it's not even about liking the wells or or not liking the wells. Um, I don't feel that they have been honest about what's been going yeah. on, and okay. there's a lot of discrepancies and a lot of. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't believe them. I mean, that's just that's just where I'm coming from. A lot of people don't, but it's not just me. And but there are some people that do believe them. Okay, so so um, I mean, if we're going to have this conversation, please tell me what is it that that you find as a discrepancy, or, or what is it that makes you take pause about Don and Candace as far as Summer's disappearance well, let, me, let me ask you, do you believe them? Believe what? Their story about Summer. So, so we both just asked each other the same question. Well, like, I'm asking you where you come but, from. But here's the thing. You're I, asking me. Ma'am, here's the thing. I have... Uh, I if you if you if you I don't know when you came in to watch the show, but I've I've made it just today. Today is the first time, so I have like no, I I have no idea. But what I'm hearing is that you you're suspicious of them, and and I get that. I I get that. I, I don't feel the same way, but I really like to know what makes you feel. Um, that something is not right with them. Uh, well, the fact that their daughter's been missing for close to two years, that their three children were taken, that their timeline doesn't make sense, that they've played uh, numerous pranks and games uh, on people close to them, uh, the fact that they don't talk to law enforcement uh, or that they don't cooperate with law enforcement. I mean, you know, there's just a lot of that's. I could probably go okay. on and on, but I get that. I get that. The the last two things so that they don't talk to law enforcement. They do talk to law that's enforcement. Not, well, no, that's not what they've said. Well, I mean, I've been on the phone when TBI was talking with Don while I was on the phone with Candace. I'm so guessing he's not the one that I called, mean, though. You, uh, so, so let's, let's have a give and take it because we're, we're trying to get down to the bottom of it, right? So well, look, I'm we're, telling we're you get to the that, bottom of anything, that but... the last two things of, of all of this, well, no, I mean, you're, you, you, the whole premise of this is you're against them. And I'm saying the last two things that you said, look, I hear what you're saying. I, I totally hear what you're saying. That said, the last two things that you said, the, the, the non-cooperation and the not talking, those two parts, the last two things, are not so. That's that's not actually true. So does that change anything for you no. if I say they actually are cooperating and they are in contact because they are in contact with the TBI? They are. Does that change anything for you? No. No, okay. because I don't believe that because I've heard it from their own mouths. Now, if you're saying that TBI has contacted them, um, yeah, that may be true. But, you know, they're they're not they're not heading on down to uh, TBI. They're not calling them every day. That, that's not what they're, they Candace just the other day admitted that she hasn't talked to law enforcement in months. Don has told me personally that he doesn't talk, that he doesn't trust law enforcement. This seemed like a well-planned, thought-out, executed-to-plan telephone call from Sonia Sessions to the lab. She lied, people. She lied. Sonia's working overtime trying to change Josh's mind about the wells at Dawn's request. Yeah, I I don't either. Okay, well, so what are we (laughs) arguing about? 
I'm not I'm not arguing with you. I'm adding information so that we can, you know, have a, a fair summarization of what's going on. Okay. And and so you ha- you you know for a fact that they call law enforcement. Not that they call them, but that they speak with them right, when because, they when they actually come. Right. Be, Go ahead. Because because law enforcement calls them. If they show up there and they talk with them, yes. Right. And they don't have much of a choice then. I mean, you could tell them to leave, but that'd be off. That'd be a really bad look, wouldn't it? Did Don well, ask they're you not trying to do that. No, not at all. I think that he would be disappointed. And people in the chat were just like, wait, 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 wait. So yeah. here I am, and yeah. I'm talking with you. Yep. And I, I'm, I, I, I love Don and Candace, and I'm friends with them, and I support them all the way. Their little baby girl is missing. She's missing, and their sons are not at home. I don't think people realize how badly Don and Candace are suffering. And if you have a mindset that they deserve this somehow or that they caused this somehow, maybe, um, I don't know, I don't even know what to say to folks like that. Cause. I've spent a lot of time with them, and I love them so much. They are so kind. When were you around them, Sonia? When they had children? Or now that they're childless and they're so nice? Do you think it was nice, Candace calling Mary, that prank call? I don't. Where's Summer, Sonia? Do you have any idea? If you want somebody to talk to, Sonia, email me. My email is goldenpeanut, lowercase letters, at gmail.com. They're so kind, and they are so pained. It's so terrible. And then uh, apparently that you, you, you and your audience are, are suspicious of them or I don't even know what it is, but wow, that's so awful. If only you could know them because they're so kind. They're such nice people. They did not cause their daughter to go missing. They have not killed their daughter, you know, that they didn't do that. How do you know? Uh, How do the you know evidence that? yet presented. What evidence? Uh, how do you? All right, so let's turn around. How do you know that they did? Like, what do you I, feel? If, such you listen, a strong if, sense? if you have listened to any portion of the show, I've clearly stated I don't know what they did or, or what their involvement is, but I do know that their timeline is terrible and that they all have the exact same story verbatim, even though Don wasn't there. Um, So you think that it's plausible that somebody walked up onto that hill in the middle of the day with a house full of people and abducted a five-year-old girl down the side of a dog trail? You think that's, you think that that makes sense? It absolutely does. And I I want to ask you this. Have you ever been there to their house? No. That's a, that's a, okay, so you have not. I have, and there, that house is so, like, you can see it so clearly. I mean, it, like, you, you have to know how to get there to get there. So the bottom line for me, because there are lots of neighbors, and many, many of the neighbors are sex offenders, there are a lot of bad scary people over there and that property is so accessible there are trails that go up and down that lead to all the roads and yeah i totally believe that somebody could have gone up there and snatched her here's another thing is is 750 feet from their house up on the hill above there's a deer blind. Do you know what a deer blind is? Yeah, I know what a deer blind is. All right, so there's a there's a campsite up there 
with a deer blind facing directly to their house. Somebody was up there watching. I folks, I guess folks don't know that. I'm in, I'm in East Tennessee. I live 45 minutes from the wells. That's what I'm saying. I'm friends with them. I've been there. I know the land. They, they're not telling you what I'm telling you. No, they are. You are. I'm yeah. telling you. Really? They're telling you about the deer blind? Mm. No, no. Are, they, are they telling you about the deer blind? Well, I don't care about the deer blind. All right, blind. so look at I'm telling you. All right, so... So I'm sorry that I'm challenging you. I'm, challenging I'm giving you, you fodder. Uh, you know, I am. No, I, I actually am. No, and it's not. okay because we're having a conversation about it. So you up the hill, like up further on the hill, their house is on the hill that's totally visible. And you go up further and there's a campsite and a deer blind. Someone made a campsite with a deer blind. A deer blind makes it so for your listeners, they don't know what it is. You, it, it makes it so that you can go hunting. It's um, it's like uh, branches and twigs and leaves so that you can peek through and your prey can't see you. So that's a deer blind. And there's a deer blind 750 feet from the house with a campsite someone was up there watching and if you go up there it, it is looking at their entire yard it's looking down on the whale's house all right someone was up there and if you consider all of the sex offenders frankly it's um it's it's really scary and sad so let me just ask you this you believe because okay. there's a, a campsite and a deer blind that somebody was watching her and with binoculars or something, and that's you wouldn't you wouldn't need binoculars okay. from right, that right, site. Right, okay. You can not just look deal. straight on the house. Sure, not a big deal. Um, no, it is a big deal. No, no, it's no. a big deal. It's a, it's if you a don't bit need of information that you. It's not a big deal. Apparently... That's what I'm saying. It's not a bit. That's not a big deal. Like TBI, the card team says that there's no evidence of of an abduction. Yet you come at me with a deer blind in a campsite. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Have a great rest of your weekend, and have a wonderful Memorial Day. Thank you. Come. Come on.